Hey, I'm Andrew. I'm a product and automations builder, and today we are going to hook up Reddit to NAN. So Reddit, obviously, huge platform, lots of cool utility you can do with it. Um, I use it for finding posts and scanning them with AI to see if they're applicable. Um, you know, this could be useful if you have a business and you're trying to find leads on Reddit. Um, you know, you can do scans to to pull out posts that you might want to reply to, or if you want to DM the person, obviously not in spammy ways, but hopefully helpful ways. Um, so we're going to go through how to set this up and maybe just show a couple quick things that you can do with Reddit uh, that make it so awesome. All right. So first of all, weirdest part about working with Reddit to me is figuring out how to actually get started. So if you Google create Reddit app, you'll see this link to this first post up here, which I have visited many times to find this. Um, if you click on this, it'll take you to this post that links to where you go to create an app. So I'll link this down below. It'll take you to a page like this. When you're first getting started, that page will look more like this. Are you a developer? Question mark, create an app, dot, dot, dot. Um, very professional looking page is on the old Reddit. Looks nothing like the new one. Uh, so you'll go back in time to get started here. Oh, this is killing me. Occasionally when you try to do stuff on this page, it will just throw this error, which is really annoying. And I think the best way to get around it is to start over. All right, so let's go ahead and create an app. I'm gonna give it a name. For this redirect URI, we're going to just grab that from NAN. We can get this by, when we, uh, when we create a Reddit node, uh, when we look at the credentials here, when you first start, it should be blank. We already have some, so we're going to create a new credential. Grab this. Bring it back over here. Passing the robot test. Okay, stairs. I know what stairs are. Does the railing count? There's a corner there. Uh, okay. Oh, man. Not doing well. Okay. Hit create app and we're going to get all this info. So from here, uh, we are going to need this right underneath your name. That'll be our client ID. Here's our secret. Don't share these with anyone. Give us a name, YouTube S account. Okay, then we're gonna get this little confirmation thing. It's gonna ask us if we wanna do all this and we're gonna allow. Cool. All right, we are connected. So now we can use this test account here. Let's try this out and see what we get back. So let's do subreddit NAN. Let's limit the response to 100. Uh, down here, if we click that button that was just there, this properties, we're gonna add a field and let's do new. But let's not do a hundred, let's just do 10. Okay, so we can see we got some posts back. Um, the response is a little weird. Um, this self text is what you would typically see for like the body of the post. Obviously I have your title. Um, the subreddit name, a whole bunch of metadata that you could potentially use in some way. I think it's actually a little overwhelming, but the big pieces of info I use is the self text, the title, the subreddit. This name is actually the post ID. So this is useful if you want to uh, do something specific with this post. So. Uh, let's say we wanted to actually just reply to this or look at the comments for it, for example. We can use that. So let's actually show how that would work here. 
So here we're putting in our subreddit and the post ID. So this is the, the tricky one here. So we want name, but this actually isn't right. The post ID is actually just this second part after the underscore. So we're gonna have to um, manipulate this a little bit and do split. And we're gonna split on the underscore and we wanna do the second object in there, which is the ID. So if you do that, you'll actually get the ID. I can put this in the description as well. Um, it's a little trick just to get that out. You can do that with pretty much anything in here if you just need to split it based on some particular character. Very handy trick. I've used this so many times. Uh, let's just do the top 10 comments here. This is a really ugly one. We're gonna go back to this one instead of doing new, cause sometimes you don't have a bunch of comments. We're gonna do top and then let's rerun this. Okay, 39 items returned. So we can see all the replies here. And you can see this body reading some of these responses to the post. So in this node, we're going to actually get all these comments for that post. Let's switch it over to table view and see if this is any better. It's hard to make sense of these comments aren't really readable in this format. Let's, let's make them readable. Grab a set node, do comments. Uh, we're going to grab this body. So I'll search body. Mm, there's a lot of them. So this actually is not easy. What I'm going to do, I, I cheated and looked at the actual thread so I can find a comment. Um, somebody asked this comment about what if your, Cl your Clint's name isn't Clint? <laughs> I don't know. It really makes sense out of context, but this was a comment. So, um, it's an easy way to identify where the actual appropriate, uh, field to pull from is. So we're gonna drag that over. It's really easy. JSON.body. Can execute it. And we're gonna see a list of comments here. So now we can actually read these a little bit. And from here, we can do some things with them, right? We can pass this into an LLM if we need to, or categorize these, whatever we need to do. <laughs> Lot of references to Clint. Uh, so now we can see all the comments in here. Um, and a lot more human readable way than this cleans out a lot of the junk as well. So if we're just trying to work only with the comments, this is a really good way to do that. So some of the other things you can do in Reddit and we won't go through all of these, but you can create a post. So if you wanted to programmatically do that, um, let's say you created the post here, created all the content, um, using prompts and just wanted it to automatically post. You can do that, but kind of feels a little spammy to be honest. A lot of those AI generated posts aren't super great. <clears throat> you can delete a post. So if you found, um, let's say you wanted to delete your Reddit account, you could go find all of your posts and delete them. Um, you can get a single post, many posts like we already did, search for a post, which Pretty nifty, let's say you, um, again, N8N, and we wanted to talk about, let's try to find some posts people talk about making money, which will probably be all of them, and many of them aren't being truthful. Maybe some are. So this will search the N8N sub, look for the keyword money. It's taking a long time because clearly everyone's talking about that. Okay. So we get a lot of posts back. 
You can see these. Wow, a lot of those. I sh limited it to 10, so I don't know why I got back 190. Um, but yeah, as I said, lots of people talking about money related to any end. So from here, you want to, you do that search, you can go do some other work. So let's say you have a local chiropractor and you want to search your local community um, on Pasadena. So you could do that, search chiropractor or other key terms. Um, I'll do a video specifically for this because this is really interesting. But you could do some search terms on this and basically create an ongoing feed of people looking for services like that in your area, which is really nice. Um, really great for local services. Um, also really cool if you do that for something more niche, if you have a niche product where people might be talking about it. Let's say you make ballet slippers and you want to go in the ballet su sub and find people who are looking for shoes for people with different size feet or, you know, you have flat feet, something like that. Um, you know, you could search for, for those types of posts and weed them out um, using an LLM and some other workflows. So really cool what you can do with that. The other one's pretty straightforward, commenting, creating comments. Again, can get kind of spammy, but you know, if you tailor this a certain way, you could do like a human in the loop thing where you're actually getting a post fed to you, something that's vetted, you type up the post and then it just automates it to be sent there. So that could be like with Discord where you're re responding to an agent, um, or you can do that through Slack or some, some other chat interface. Um, get more comments, we did that. Delete, delete comments, reply to comments. Um, it's all cool, basic actions. If you wanna get a profile, um, I don't know if I've ever looked at anyone's profile on Reddit, but you can do that. You can get um, a sub, get many subs, uh, and get a user. Again, not something I've really be looking at necessarily, but could be something good if you're trying to do some lead validation uh, to determine if they're good potential lead, if you want to DM them. Again, not spammy, just, you know, soft reach out. People have done that to me. So it's, it can be helpful if, if you leave a comment in a particular community and uh, somebody reaches out with something that could be helpful. So that's pretty much Reddit in a nutshell. A lot more cool stuff you can do with this. We'll do some more advanced workflows, but this is just getting set up for now. So uh, go ahead, play around with it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Always appreciate like and subscribe if you found this useful. Uh, and we'll see you again soon.